Hey, hello. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine now. Who'd you say you were? Hello. Sure. Who did you say you were? I'm in New Mexico. You're in New Mexico, and your name's what? William. Oh, William. What a great name. Goodness. And you're from the New Mexico? I'm from Lisbon, Portugal. You're from Portugal, New Mexico? Yes. Oh, I've never been there, but I like... So, how do we know we... We met on Facebook. Oh, okay. Well, I've been gone for a while. I, I went to the Greece for my birthday, and then I, I decided to stay, and I went on one of them river cruises through the Europe, and then um, I finally got home, and then we had to have our 4th of July bonanza. So what are you up to? Um, uh, Tell me about yourself, honey. Okay. So how, how was it? Oh, it was fun, Lord. I went on the river cruise, and I was eating Pop-Tarts and drinking my orange juice, and I was so much fun, honey. So, um, we met on the facing book. Um, so, tell me about yourself, honey. Sam? I said, tell me about yourself. Okay. Test me up, okay? The connection is bad. That's not my problem. So how's things in New Mexico? Oh, well, it's okay. We're good here. Oh, I've never been to the New Mexico, but I've been to the old Mexico. I, I went there a few years ago for a birthday bonanza. So um, are you single? Yeah. Okay. You divorce a widow? What's your story, honey? Yeah, I was divorced. Um, uh-huh. How long have you been divorced? You? Four years. Oh, okay. All right. So you um, you got any kids? No kids. Oh, that's new. How old are you, darling? Sixty-four. Oh, thinking about it. Oh, goodness. You're an older man. <laughs> I'm 60 again. I'm 64. Tim, so, what do you do in New Mexico? Do you like, um, are you down in the Roswell hunting for aliens or what, honey? I'm doing what? What do you do for work down in the New Mexico? Oh, I have been home since the virus, um, trying to come up with my new contract. Oh, goodness, you've been home since the virus? So you've been home for like four years? Yeah. Oh gosh, that's so horrible. I've been doing some little jobs, yeah. Mm, that's horrible, honey. I I stayed home for a few weeks, made pretzels, and went back to work. Goodness, I couldn't stay home for four years. I'd be bigger than my house and crazier than my neighbor's cats. Goodness. So what um what kind of work do you do? I work with sugar pretzels. You work with sugared pretzels? What? I work with sugar pretzels. Man. Maybe on drilling or crude oil. Oh, oh, oil. I said, I don't even know. Oh, goodness, you, you work with oil. Oh, that must be greasy, honey. Um, How long have you been working with the oils? Over 17 years. Oh, goodness, that's a long time to be in oil. <laughs> goodness, well, that's uh, interesting. So um, are you datering anyone or are you just, are you looking for love? Looking for someone to spend the rest of my life with. Uh, aren't y'all? Oh, goodness. That's great, honey. Well, I'm a divorced as well. I've been single now for 7.4 years. And, um, you know, it's just hard to find love, honey. Yeah, well, you know, we'll keep trying and trying and see how it works. Yeah, just keep trying, you know, hoping you get one. Oh, goodness. Well, I, I've not bedatered anybody off the Internet, so I just, you never know, honey. But, um, well, I, oh, you're busy. I live in, oh, you need to get that call, honey. Okay. Okay, so anyway, I live in Hankelville. Have you ever been to the Hankelville? I'm going to test you back, okay? Oh, you don't want to talk? I'm, I'm, I'm going to call from my company. 
What did they, well, you didn't answer it. Uh, what did they want, honey? No, no, yet. Oh, well, they can wait. So anyway, honey, I live in Hankelville. You ever been to Hankelville? No. Oh, oh you should have came yesterday. We had our 4th of July bonanza. We were making deep fried corn dogs off the, the heat from the car radiator. And um, my son, he um, lit off some of them big husker doodles. And um, uh, one of them fell in the garbage can and we had a small blaze. But it was beautiful, honey. And um, we all had Hawaiian punch. Wow. And oh, it was great. And then we all put on our glitter shirts with the red, white, and blue flags. And we shimmied our arms like one of those inflatable things you see at the car wash. It was beautiful, honey. Did you have, did you do anything special for the 4th of July? I'm um, just being at home. Didn't you, didn't you light off some fireworks or do anything patriotic like eat a Boston cream pie? <laughs> uh, he hung up. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you there? Yes, I'm here. What, you kept incessantly calling me. What's wrong? Oh. Sorry, I was calling the phone. Oh, it's fine. I was just, I was on the phone with my sister, Bardeen. She was asking if I needed some help cleaning up after our 4th of July bonanza, but I told her no because she's more of a hindrance than a help. So anyway, what are you doing? Nothing. Talking to you. Oh, good, good, good. Well, you hung up on me earlier. I thought maybe you didn't want to talk to me. No, the connection was bad, not me. Not my problem. Okay, well, I'm glad it's nice and clear now, honey. So, um... Gosh, I, I don't really know you. I mean, t tell me more about yourself, honey. That was be a long test, so let's test about that. Let's... Why did you want to talk? You got something wrong with your voice? I mean, come okay, on, honey. Okay, okay. Um, okay, let's talk. All right, let's talk. <laughs> so tell me about yourself. I'm single. Mm -hmm. No kids. Mm. I'm, the, I'm the only child of my parents. I lost them when I was 13, and it's been hell then, but it's okay. Oh, good, and you so lost I your... I alone now. Uh -huh. You lost your parents yeah. at 13? Where did you live? Did you just survive on your own, or what? I was raised by my oh. dad's best friend. Your best friend? My dad's best friend. Oh, goodness, okay. So where did you grow up, honey? In California. Oh, you're you're a California native, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh goodness, how exciting! You're so. A, you're, yes, so I I moved down here, got married, um, for some years, and um, my ex got has miscarried. The doctor says she can have baby normal. Oh well, well that's okay, honey. That's um, it happens. I've yeah, got a son. She has serious miscarriage and doctor says she can't have baby no more, but I just believe in God that God have reason for everything. So, but she started doing, she started, um, I, I can't deal with that. So God divorced, yeah. everyone move on. Um, just here searching for the best partner to spend the rest of my life with. Oh, okay. Well, at least you got rid of her. So, Goodness, so um, you've been how long you been single, honey? I said four years. Oh, four years. Oh, okay, that's not very yeah. long. Four years and some months. Oh, have you dated yeah. anybody? Not really. I come across one some years back. Um, to just one. Good for you. Well, it's hard to find quality people, honey. You know the. The quality of people has declined greatly in the last few years. Just like, you know, I don't know. It's so hard to find someone to live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the most important thing is to have someone to trust you. Mm -hmm. You know, I trust people easily. Um, you know, I love people to give me the same energy. Uh, most important thing in a relationship is trust and honest. I believe that is the most important thing in a relationship, trust and honest. Oh, yes, trust and yeah. honest, honey. I believe in yeah. that. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so with that, love can come in. 
Mm -hmm. Well, of course, honey. If you don't have crust and honesty, you have nothing. Yeah. You can't love someone when you don't trust them. Or you don't trust her. Oh, of course, honey. Well, it just falls apart like a, you know, like a Walmart toilet paper slipping through your fingers. Good Lord. Yeah. So you, so. um... So what are you up to today? You working or just hanging out? Um, trying. Best thing, I'm working on my, uh, working from home, sending some mails. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. How exciting, honey. Is well, that? I said that's exciting, honey, working from home. Uh, who is there with you? My my sister's dog's with me. It's snoring right by my feet. Okay. Now my my daughter-in-law was here earlier, but I sent her to the Walmart to get some more trash bags. We had our big party last night, and uh, Lord, my my family's made a mess. We got barbecued ribs all over the front lawn. Okay, so um, um, have you met someone so far? No, I've had trouble meeting quality men in Hankoville, honey. I, we're either related to each other or I saw them on the news. So I don't date locally. There's nothing of quality in Hankoville. So what is your, your experience? Uh, uh, my experience in what? <laughs> I mean, your experience so far in online dating. I've not dated anyone off the internet, honey. I've had a few, you know, gentlemen interested, but eh, I didn't like their face. So, no, I've not dated. How about you? you have you been dating women off the internet? No, like, how, like what I said before. I said I met one some years back and... She just wants sex, and I stopped talking to her, then we moved on. I haven't met anyone yet. Oh, that's a shame. You can't meet anybody of quality off the Internet, honey. It's, you know, it's so frustrating. We all want to meet somebody, but, Lord, it's like the dating pool is full of crawfish, honey. Yeah, so I mm. uh, don't know if you, if you can give me sure a chance and believe and so we can see how we work things out. You know? Well, we can give it a whirl, honey. I mean, I'm always open to finding love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what I mean, would you would you um, consider doing a long distance relationship until we could meet in person? Yeah, like, to me, I believe the most important thing, like as I said, is trust and honest. So we can be talking on. Then plan on how to meet each other. I agree, honey. Well, you don't live too close to the Hankleville, so, you know, we'd have to figure out how we're going to meet. Yeah, we have to figure out. I don't have problem locating to wherever, if you don't mind. We can go to your home and live together. Or if you want to locate to where I am, so we don't have problem with that. I don't have problem with locating. Well, the I'd most rather, important thing, the most important thing to me is to meet someone that will love me uh -huh. and be there for me. Yeah. Of course, honey, of course. It's always important to have someone there for you. Now, I wouldn't leave Hankoville, honey. I was born and bred in Hankoville, and I'm, I got my family plot here. I plan on being here till they zip me up and throw me in the ground. <laughs> oh, okay, no problem, so. We can just be talking and plan how we can meet, how I can get to you. So we go to a home and live together. You know, how about that? Well, we'll have to see where this goes. I mean, maybe you can um, come come over and visit for our pool party or something. And, you know, we'll just see how things turn out. I don't know, honey. You never know. You might be Mr. Right yeah. or Mr. Wrong. Okay, so that is what I'm saying. So we can be talking for now and plan on how I can come over so we can spend some quality time together before we we'll see how it works. 
Yeah, we gotta see how it goes, honey. We might not be a match. I mean, you might like the, you know, generic Dr. Pepper, and I might like the brand name, or you might like, like the way I cook my spaghetti. I mean, who knows, honey? Uh, that, that is not my problem. The most important thing is to me yeah. is to find someone that loves me. Every other thing can be taken care of. Well, love sometimes is not, you know, shut up. Love's not yeah, always love, enough, honey. I love cooking. I love helping for house chores. I love cooking. Being in the kitchen with my love, you know, having yeah. a walk with her, going to the beach, going to shopping. Mm. Yeah. I love shopping, honey. I shop all the time. Lord, I got more shoes than oh, yeah. clothes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. Go for shopping for shoes and clothes, you know? Well, you can come shoe shopping with me, honey. I, I wear a size 14, but don't let that distract you from my pretty face, honey. So, yeah, I love to go swimming. I done got me a pool, and, um, yeah, I'm always in the pool, honey, Lord. Do you like to swim? Yeah, I love to swim. I like to swim. I got my little pool noodles. I bought some at the wall and mart, and I done put glitter on them so they shine and shimmy when I'm in the pool. Okay. So I message you, you know, I message you on Facebook. I go to Facebook and I message you. When you get there, you see I dropped a message for you that we are talking on WhatsApp. Oh, oh, thank you, uh, honey. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet of yeah, you. So, I can get your profile. Okay. So, Good. That's yeah, wonderful. So, yeah, so we can be talking on Facebook, can be talking here also. You know, the most. Um, so I love talking with my loved one all the time. You know, I don't know if we have the attention or how we always have chance to talk on phone. Well, when I'm not at work, honey, of course we can talk on the phone. Okay, but you can text during work. Well, I can text during work, but I can't text 24 hours a day. I've got lots of clients no. that I'm talking to. Uh, yeah, my work. Too. I can't te- I, I can't text 24 hours a day because I work. I work too, honey. I got a busy, busy yeah. schedule. Yeah, but at least I love saying good morning to my love and good night. Would that oh, be much? Oh, of course, honey. You can say good morning, good night, good afternoon, buenos dias, buenos yeah. tardes, whatever. I don't care. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's wonderful, honey. Well, yeah, we can we can get to know each other and yeah, now see what happens. Okay, so we can give it a try to each other and see what happens. Yeah, we'll just leave it up to destiny. Not not destiny from Dollar General, but destiny, honey. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Well, you sound like a nice man. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I believe it's going to work out. I believe it's going to work out. I love your smile. And I know you are going to be so beautiful. Mm-hmm. You know, can, mm-hmm. I, can I have a new picture of you? Oh, of course, honey. I can... I'll send you one from my 4th of July bonanza last night. Good Lord, we had so much fun. It's too bad you couldn't have been here. Okay. <laughs> I know it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, we had a ball, honey. We we played some Kenny Rogers, and we danced in the moonlight. Good Lord. Wow. Uh-huh. Wow. Uh-huh. It was wonderful, honey. Yeah, that is so wonderful. So, did you did not do anything fun for the 4th of July? No, I didn't go. You know, I was lonely and just being home, just <laughs> trying to go to meet someone that can <laughs> share me up, someone I can spend time with, you know. Uh-huh. I think it may be God, you may, you may be a God sent to me. Uh, well, I hope I'm not the nightmare you dreamt of. <laughs> Yeah, uh, maybe a girl sent to me. I've been praying and uh, for some time now I haven't met any lady, you know. Uh, I was praying to God the whoever I'm gonna meet, let it be the one I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with. And uh, you're coming. And, and uh, here I am. 
I believe God brought you to me. Oh, I'm sure he did in his own mysterious ways, honey. Yes, yes, I believe God walks in a mistrust way. I'm sure, honey. Well, Lord, who knows? We'll see how things go. Maybe in a year from now, we'll be Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I believe that, too. Yeah, but, uh, a million dollars later. <laughs> well, we'll see how things go, honey. But anyway, I need to get doodling around. I need to um, finish cleaning up my yard. So um, feel free to text her me, honey, and maybe we can chitter chatter later. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, no problem about that. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> All right. You, you have a fabulous day, and let's talk later on. Okay, take care of yourself, okay? Oh, I will, trust me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Waiting, waiting, to have, waiting to have some pictures from you. Oh, I'll send you some from our party. <laughs> okay, okay, good. All right. Bye, bye for now. Okay, bye-bye now. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a number we got uh he whatsapped me and it is a plus two three four so the number is from nigeria uh but we'll keep talking to him he said his name is william and uh we'll see how it goes stay tuned